So now that we have this callback function, what we want to do is that we need to return something to the user. So to return something to the user, we need to use the response, this parameter. So here I'm going to say res, and then that send, and then you can send whatever you want to the user. I'm going to say for now, I'm going to say hello. But now we can run our application, but we need to specify the port that's going to be used to run our application. So to specify the port, we need to say app and then dot listen, app dot listen. And then we need to pass the port that we want to use. So usually I use the 8080 port. You can use whatever port you want. You can use 8000, you can use uh, 81, uh, 100, whatever, whatever port you want. But usually I use 8080. Now I need to save. I'm going to click on file and then save. And the final step is that we need to run our application. So how can I run my application? To run the application, to run a node application, first you need to open up the terminal. I'm going to click on view and then terminal. And then in the, in the terminal, you need to type the following. You need to type node and then the name of the file. So what is, what's the name of the file? The name of the file is index.js. So I'm going to say here index.js. And now if I hit enter, all I need to do now is that I need to head over to the browser and I need to go to the local host. So I need to go to I need to go to local host, local host, and then colon 88 because the URL is just forward slash, which means that we need just to go to localhost. So what I'm going to do it now is that I'm going to hand it over to my uh, my browser, which is Google Chrome. So as you can see, if I go to localhost and then call on 8080, it's going to send me this message. It's going to say hello. As you can see, it's going to just say hello here. So it works successfully, and now the user will get this message whenever they go to this URL. So now we have a local server that delivers a very basic message to the user.